Time travel. It is one of the most fascinating and controversial topics for scientists for decades. So, is time traveling in past and future as possible? Or it is just fiction? If yes, then how? Would you like to go to the past and witness the formation of the Earth and want to see prehistoric creatures alive? Or a trip to the future will excite you the most? My name is Jarman Singh Gill, and you're watching Nature in Science. What is time? While most people think of time as a constant, time is the continued sequence of existence and events that occurs in an apparently irreversible succession from the past, through the present, into the future. While physicist Albert Einstein showed that time is an illusion, it is relative. It can vary for different observers depending on your speed through space. To Einstein, time is the fourth dimension. Space is described as a three-dimensional arena, which provides a traveler with coordinates, such as length, width, and height, showing location. Time provides another coordinate, direction, although conventionally, it only moves forward. Einstein's theory of special relativity says that time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to something else. Also, under Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity can bend time. The general and special relativity theories have been proven with GPS satellite technology that has very accurate timepieces on board. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellite's increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make the unadjusted clocks gain 38 microseconds a day. Approaching the speed of light, a person inside a spaceship would age much slower than his twin at home. Time travel in fiction and reality is much different than you think. As Einstein's theory of relativity says that time can only move forward, so, exploring the past is nothing more than imagination. The reality of time travel exists but in a very different way than you think. Time travel, in reality, is generally known as time dilation, in which time is influenced by gravity and varies along with the heavily bodies which means astronauts are kind of time travelers, as they return to Earth very, very slightly younger than their identical twins that remain on the planet. Under certain conditions, it is possible to experience time passing at a different rate than one second per second. Time moves only in the forward direction, and we can't travel to our past, but that doesn't mean that theoretically, it is not possible. There are theoretically possible ways to travel forward and backwards in the time, proposed by different scientists. Through wormholes. Time travel through a wormhole is technically feasible under the rules of theoretical physics. The only catch is that we can only ever go backward. While Einstein's equations provide for them, they would collapse very quickly and would only be suitable for very small particles. Also, Scientists haven't actually observed these wormholes yet. The technology needed to create a wormhole is far beyond anything we have today. A portal through space created by energy fluctuations in positive and negative directions. The different fluctuations would each create a curved space that opposes the other. If these two were then connected, you would have a wormhole. If it lasted long enough, Theoretically a particle could be transported through. Black holes. Another possibility would be to move a ship rapidly around a black hole or to artificially create that condition with a huge, rotating structure. Around and around they'd go, experiencing just half the time of everyone far away from the black hole. The ship and its crew would be traveling through time. The crew would need to travel around the speed of light for this to work or it might fall apart before being able to rotate that quickly. Cosmic strains. Another theory for potential time travelers involves something called cosmic strings, narrow tubes of energy stretched across the entire length of the ever-expanding universe. These thin regions, 
left over from the early cosmos, are predicted to contain huge amounts of mass and therefore could warp the space-time around them. Cosmic strings are either infinite or they're in loops, with no ends, scientists say. The approach of two such strings parallel to each other would bend space-time so vigorously and in such a particular configuration that might make time travel possible, in theory. Time machines. Yes, that you have seen in Doraemon and Avengers. It is generally understood that traveling forward or back in time would require a device, a time machine, to take you there. Time machine research often involves bending space-time so far that timelines turn back on themselves to form a loop, technically known as a closed time-like curve. So, we have seen a number of possible ways to time travel, but there are a number of limitations too. Grandfather Paradox The Grandfather Paradox is a potential logical problem that would arise if a person were to travel to a past time. The name comes from the idea that if a person travels to a time before their grandfather had children, and kills him, it would make their own birth impossible. So, if time travel is possible, it somehow must avoid such a contradiction. Bootstrap Paradox the bootstrap paradox is a theoretical paradox of time travel that occurs when an object or piece of information sent back in time becomes trapped within an infinite cause-effect loop in which the item no longer has a discernible point of origin, and is said to be uncaused, or self-created. Let's understand it with an example. Suppose, in 1972, a person named Christopher Reeve is given a watch by an old woman which it turns out was given to her younger self by Reeve after traveling back to 1912. The young woman then completes the infinite loop by giving the watch to Reeve in 1972 when she's older. An inconsistency that subsequently arises is how the pocket watch survives countless time cycles while remaining unaged and unaffected by time. The problem is no less true for information trapped inside a bootstrap paradox. Both seem to violate the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy, gradual decline into disorder, will always increase over time. So a complex situation also exists. Assume if you create a time machine and travel to the past, the machine you are using to travel in time would also travel with you, which seems very complex for the technology to itself go to past. So, time travel is possible only if you are Tony Stark or have a futuristic robot like Doraemon, or Doctor Strange might help you with Time Stone. Despite limitations and paradoxes, some people claim to be time travelers. Well, that's a topic for another nature and science video. A subscribe to the channel would let humanity to build a time machine. I'm Jarman, and this is Nature and Science.